and we return on the street, not watched over by the Cola King, wherever his billboard may be. We can't see it here, and that's why bad things have happened. So let's go talk to the bartender and continue this case of the hit and run, the bloody knife, and the crazy girl who wants to be in the newspaper. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Hmm, Mrs. Patterson is the wife of the victim after their argument. So what's, what, is, what was the incident? Tell me about it. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. I doubt that. You're being a little bit shady there, buddy. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Good. Okay, what was the argument about? A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Hmm. You guys being a little bit cagey again. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo. The owner. Hmm. So what's this joint business venture? How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. KG again, dude. So we got Lester is the victim. Lorna is her his wife, and Leroy is the, the dude who owns the bar. You're lying, You're dou I doubt you. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you gonna tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Hmm. So Leroy's not doing well. Maybe Lorna... I don't, know, I don't know what's going on. But Lester's a drunk, a gambler, psycho dude who lost all of his money. So, what's your association with Mr. Lester? Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. I think that's the truth. Now you're looking us straight in the eye. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure. No problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Hmm... There's more clues to be found, though, so let's pick them up, but we do have some good info. Shrink to the stars promises mental breakthrough. This guy again. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. 
Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. Well, he's a weirdo, but that doesn't help us out much. Except give us another collectible. So, any other clues in here? Talk to all the people. Let's walk back out to the crime scene. I just want to make sure it doesn't uh, make any more noise. I think we got it all. Okay, so let's go to the phone booth we can go to. Let's check out the phone booth. Make a call here. Wait, is there still music? There is. Are we missing clues? Hmm. I hope, I hope we're not missing clues. But really hope I got everything. Let's quickly... These back doors lead anywhere? Oh, there's a telephone, though. Can call that car in. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thank you. Hmm, so we got a suspect now. Looks like we caught a break on this one. We've got a suspect, we've got a car. We got witnesses, we got everything we need. What's back here? Poker room. So this is why everybody comes to raise. Hmm. Anything back here? Guess not, but at least we found this out. We have physical proof of it. I'm worried we're missing a clue, so let's go double. We'll do one more pass out here. Doesn't seem to be any more music. I gotta imagine we got almost See, there's, there's the music again. We've already seen this paper. Stop it. Anything up against the walls here? What about, uh... The jukebox? We can't get back there, apparently. Alright. We're fine. I'm worried about the alleyway. Is there anything else back here? Probably not. Got our shoes a little bit wet there. All right. Well, we ready to call this a quits. I mean, if we miss one clue, big deal. I feel like we have pretty much everything we need, don't we? Seems like we have enough to solve the case. All right. Well, let's I have a report I need to get finished for the grand jury. So if you don't mind. Sorry. Hmm. 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 Do we have all the clues? How many intuition points do we have? Yeah, we we have all the clues. We can't even use it right now. Okay. Find anything interesting? Maybe it's one intuition point per rank. I thought maybe it was per case, but I guess not. Time to get out of here. Let's go. Let's leave this place. Where are we headed? We go to the Patterson residence or the Shelton. Before we go accuse the guy, maybe we should go talk to his wife. And then we can go talk... Actually, she's going to be a little bit more involved. So maybe we should go talk... Let's go talk to Shelton first. He's got to hit him. Um, we can talk to him... And then we can go talk to the wife, maybe with more info. Actually, I'm gonna let my partner drive here to get us there quickly. Dude, you drive. You know the way. You can drive. You can drive. I believe in you. I have faith. I like how it gives us a choice. Like, I don't know, you know how much it directly affects in the storyline, but if we can, you know, we get to pick, we get to ask first, maybe it will help us out a little bit in, in our interrogations and knowing a few more facts along the way if we, if we make a better choice of who to, who to talk to first. It seems like the hit and run guy really didn't do anything. I mean, he did something wrong, but it's not really his fault necessarily. I mean, it's his fault, but like he's not as as involved as maybe the wife is. There seems to be a lot more going on between her than this dude. Here we are, the Shelton residence. Got a nice house. We waited till morning, apparently. He's packing up and leaving, leaving town. right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. 
Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelby. Uh-oh. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Let's go get him. Cola King, you're here. That means we're gonna do take care of business. Ah! Okay, so maybe he was hired though. Maybe maybe Lorna left and then hired this dude. I never thought of that. That could be an option. Oh, we can catch this guy's crazy driver. Holy cow. Probably should talk to her first, actually. Well, we'll see how this we'll see how this goes. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. What do you mean? What do you mean to do? I don't think I can shoot him in the car, can I? Turning on our siren, I don't think that's good. Wonder he killed someone. Driving like this. Crap! I'm sorry. Ah! Don't let that asshole get away! I'm trying! He's driving like a fiend. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoa! Doing some damage to the city. Not my fault. Sorry, guys. We got a crazy criminal on the loose. Ah! Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Ow. Crap, 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 crap. Where's he at? Dude, 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 dude. Where'd he go? He's heading into the station. Go on. Get after him. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get out. I'm getting, I'm trying to stop the car. Get out. Let's run. Go, go, go. Hold it right there, Shelton. Where is he? 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 There he is. Hey, buddy. Gotcha. The vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's our partner. Part of the prospect of paperwork, don't you? Drive us here. I didn't mean to crash so many times. Sorry. We'll drive this one. We'll drive every other one. I think that's a good deal. I didn't mean to. Uh, I mean it. I think I didn't try to hit somebody on the sidewalk there, but I think I might have, which is gonna probably give us a bad rank. I'm sorry. My fault. My bad, Cola King. I know you need to prove. Oh, what's this? El pueblo de los Angeles. All right. Whoa, and our car just jumped. Holy. God. What the heck was that about? Go left. Go left. I'm going left. Right? Ow. Sorry. Good. Slow down. I'm sorry. Take the next right. I'm trying my best. It's, it's, I'm stressed. Police, police work is stressful. Go talk to the wife. This is probably going to be the big interrogation. The hard one here. Go straight through here. I'm going. Yeah, you guys stop for me, please. Straight ahead. I hope I didn't kill that guy. Uh, Try making it to the next intersection without killing him. Okay. You do that for me? Sorry. Holy King, I'm sorry. Straight through the next intersection. Okay. What about now? Straight ahead. All right. What about now? What about now? You're taking the next left. Turn left. If I turn my siren on, I think they're more likely to stop and get out of the way. It's probably what I should do. Probably, probably, probably. Here is her house. That was a light post. Okay, here's your gorgeous home. Actually, it's kind of around the corner, but that's okay. We'll run and run and run and hop the fence and look like a champ. Oh yeah. All right. Coming from the back. Sneaky style. Woo! Cole with the high jump. 